Hi there. Welcome back. Here we are, uh, another digital devotional this morning. We're working our way through some of the Psalms. We're in Psalm 21 today. Today we're going to look at verses 10, 11, and 12 of Psalm 21. Let's pray together. How good and faithful you are, O oh Lord, and we turn to you, Lord, as we perhaps face stresses and strains today, as we uh, run into challenges today, as God, maybe even in our own minds and our own hearts, we wrestle with uh, self-doubt and and even a, a waning faith. I pray, God, that you would come against and uh, evaporate all that holds us from you. And God, I pray that you would enable us to behold you in your glory and savor you, cherish you, love you, and serve you. Lord, be, be so faithful to speak to our hearts and minds. Now we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 21, starting in verse 10, says, You will destroy their descendants from the earth and their offspring from among the children of man. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed. For you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Last digital devotional. Again, this is uh, these are royal psalms. These are psalms that uh, recount uh, King David uh, and the King of Israel and their uh, longing to know the goodness and faithfulness of God. And we looked yesterday at a couple verses how God defends His people, and today we're looking at how God opposes every foe. And one of the things, the caveat we have to understand is this does not mean that this is true, but it doesn't mean that things are always going to go in such a way that we are always happy and everything is easy and everything is domesticated. No, there are going to be problems and trials and difficulties in our lives. That's part of the deal of living under the curse of sin. And yet God, in the midst of this, will oppose every foe. Nothing ever will be ultimate in our lives that is set up against God. Sin will not be ultimate. Uh, a, a, an abusive boss will never be ultimate. Cancer will never be ultimate. Evil in the world will never be ultimate. And that's what's get, uh, what David is getting at here. <laughs> God in verse 10, you will destroy their descendants from the earth. Those that oppose God, those that which is set up against God, their offspring from among the children of man. Verse 11, though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief. Notice it's against God. And they're plotting wickedness. Though they do this, they'll not succeed. They may seem to make some advancements a little bit here and there, but they will not succeed. In other words, they will not win the final ultimate victory. And then lastly, verse 12, you, O Lord, you, God, will put them to flight. The proud and the peacocky, those that walk around with arrogance and somehow wield their muscles or their strength before God Almighty will flee. And God will aim, it says, at what you will aim at their faces with your bows. This is God is going to make sure that that there is a a mortal blow to everything that is evil. This is the God we serve. This is not a God who's just uh, uh, angry and gets up on the wrong side of the bed. This is a God who is righteous and holy and will vindicate everything that is set up against him. That is, you know, brokenness and fallenness in our own lives and in the world. And so it, it's kind of like God is, uh, you know, the, I remember as a kid, you know, running into fearful situations and how I would hide behind my dad. And my dad, you know, seemed like uh, just a, a giant of a person to my little hands and my little feet and how I could stand behind daddy and know that God, or that, that all was going to be right. And God is like that. We stand behind God. And God is the one who goes before us and grants the victory. 
Friends, stand behind the Lord. Stand behind Jesus Christ, who is our victory. I'll see you again tomorrow.